Welcome to the Welsh capital as the two teams come out. Leicester were so close to taking a nine-point lead at the top into this, their final game of 2023. After that draw at Leicester, the Foxes will be hoping to get back on the winning highway again and also try to become the first side in the championship to get to 50 goals this season. While Leicester have been the model of winning consistency for most of the season, opponents Cardiff continue to leave their fans wondering what they can expect next. Well, in terms of the team news, Cardiff were involved in an eventful 2-2 draw here on Tuesday against Plymouth Argyle. Carl and Grant rescued a point for them with a wonderful strike. He'll be hoping to score for a third game on the trot tonight. Manager Errol Bullitt makes two changes to his starting lineup. In comes the Greek international Manolos Siopis into midfield, and there's a recall for Josh Bowler. Dropping out of the starting lineup are Yaku Mete and Ruben Colwell, who are on the bench. Aaron Ramsey, who scored at the King Power in August, is still out injured. Enzo Maresca hinted at changes after Tuesday's game at Ipswich. Three days on, he makes a couple of alterations, both in defence. James Justin and Hamzu Chowdhury come into the full-back positions. Bout Fast returns to his more accustomed centre-half spot. Connor Cody and Ricardo move down to the bench. No Kelechi Iheanacho tonight, he's not in the 20-man squad. But Wanya Marcel returns to the bench. His last championship appearance was against Cardiff in August when he scored in a 2-1 victory. A reminder that there is no room for racism. Both teams taking the knee. Leicester City in another change kit. Blue certainly been the colour of their opponents as well in recent matches. Birmingham City, Ipswich and now the Bluebirds. And it's Leicester in possession at the moment with Yannick Vestergaard who had Sadly for him, one of the last touches of that game on Boxing Day, a game where Leicester were so close, weren't they, to opening up that nine-point lead at the top of the championship. Just a couple of changes. Enzo Maresca said that he would be making changes, but it's the, the back and certainly the, uh, the front of the bus, the middle of the bus, has been left unaltered. Patson Dacca starting a sixth consecutive game, which is remarkable considering how little he played up until December. Well, there was a really good crowd here on Boxing Day for Cardiff's game against Plymouth, an eventful game. They got the benefit of a, a crazy own goal, put them 1-0 up, and then they were 2-1 down. Fatawu coming forward for Leicester on the right-hand side. Puts the ball into the area, Dewsbury Hall with a header. Fabulous save by Anik. Left-handed, strong arm, got the ball away, and Dewsbury Hall so close to giving Leicester the lead with the first opportunity of the game. Well, what an opportunity it was as well. Jusby Hall slapping his thighs now in frustration. Can't work out, can't fathom how he didn't score there. I mean, he's arrived in the box, beautifully delivered. Wonderful save by Alnwick, as you say. Vincent Tan was here on Tuesday for the game against Plymouth Argyle. Wearing his uh, Aaron Ramsey number 10 shirt. There's Leicester Press, edge of the penalty area. They might get something here. Chewsbury Hall onto the left foot. 1 0. Chewsbury Hall will not be denied this time. No weary legs there as Leicester City pressed the edge of the penalty area, won the ball back. Lovely control inside the penalty area. Left footed shot into the back of the net. And Leicester lead here in Wales well Leicester were up in the ante weren't they moving up through the gears a little bit you could see that danger was imminent from Cardiff's point of view that header from Dewsbury Hall one or two other instances Daka there was in a good position a minute or so prior with a clumsy touch the move broke down but uh, Cardiff and I've not spotted it a couple of times with Gutas on the right-hand side, he looks ever so clumsy and uncomfortable on the ball. Yeah, Rawls, normally quite reliable, isn't he, with his delivery and that, but uh, technically adept. But <laughs> so on those two occasions with corners, yeah, it's hugely disappointing from their point of view. 
Perry and G wins it back. Edge of the penalty area. Leicester got a bit of defending to do here. And Bowler was nearly there. Tete with the shot. Wide of the target. It was a bit wild from him. Bowler had shown a nice piece of skill inside the penalty area. And the ball had broken to Cardiff's number nine there. Just needed a little bit more composure. Because Leicester would have been in trouble here. The angle wasn't great, but it was wide and didn't even hit the side netting in the end. Uh, edging closer though, guy, aren't they? Yeah. Daka playing it up to Ndidi. Back to Daka was the intention. It was a chest pass by Ndidi. It would have been a lovely one-two, but Daka couldn't get on the end of it. Here's Ndidi again. Right-hand side plays it into the penalty area. It's headed away. Bowler's got a bit of work to do. He slightly dallied, and as a result, there's a shot from the edge of the penalty area. What a goal! James Justin, oh that is sensational, I say the edge of the penalty area, that doesn't do it justice, that's got to be 25 yards plus, his second goal of the season, and that is absolutely brilliant, he's gone towards the thousands of Leicester fans in the far corner to celebrate that goal, and they have daylight now here in Cardiff, thanks to the fullback James Justin. Oh, that's a special strike, oh, isn't it? 25 yards out, pretty much exactly central. But as he hit it, I just gave you a little nudge as, as the ball was travelling goalwards. I know he has that ability from that distance, we've seen it. Oh, going back a couple of years or so ago in the FA Cup against Stoke, I think it was, he scored a wonderful strike from the angle of the box. James Dustin, not renowned for his goal scoring, but he, had, he does have that capability. That's, that's not... <laughs> You know, once in a blue moon fluke it's uh, great work from Fatawu as well who was on the front foot on his toes as is Keenan Jewsby Hall now Jewsby Hall playing it out to Fatawu and it's back in and the shot was blocked and Didi with his hands on his head felt that was maybe a third goal but it was good defending by Cardiff City good counter attack by Leicester and the game really is set up now for the way they like it, Cardiff have to move forward and there will be space aplenty for the likes of Ndidi, for Fatou, for yeah, all that, the attacking players that Leicester have out on the pitch at the moment. As you say, Guy, it is tailor-made for Leicester City now, isn't it? If Cardiff can a bit <laughs> be draggled, as they have done from the start, in truth, but even more so now, you feel that gaps will open up and the possibility and opportunities there for Leicester to go really go and force on the issue but uh, that was an excellent move for the Dewsbury Hall again at the heart of it lovely pass again by Dewsbury Hall and it's Fatawu out to the far side Mavadidi takes it on his thigh but it has to go outside of the penalty area and he's heading towards the corner flag now oh what a trick that is he's into the penalty area can he pick anyone out dinks it in towards and Didi and it's behind for we wait for the referee's decision I think it's a corner it is but that was sensational play by Mavadidi over on the far side heading towards the corner flag and you thought he's not going to do anything here and then he just turned 180 and was in the penalty area and nearly picked out Ndidi double change for Cardiff City let me just tell you about the double changes they go looking for goals Josh Bowler certainly is one of those coming off and it looks like Joe Rawls also the skipper who departs and as we said previously it was uh, Ruben Colwell who comes on along with Oli Tanner as Leicester come forward again Fadawu onto the left foot is he going to have a shot here I think he is you know he does oh he's supposed and then Daka from just a couple of yards out somehow manages to failed to hit the target, it should have been 3-0, Fadawu with the initial effort, brilliant onto his left foot curled it around the goalkeeper hit the post and it came back to Daka really quickly, he was on the 6 yard line and he just was unable to react quickly enough and cushion the ball and as a result it went over the crossbar Fadawu, look at the shift he's doing he's, he's up one end of the pitch, one second back down the other, and the next and Excellent athlete as well as technician. Colville. And again, Colville with a shot. Oh, this was one that tested the goalkeeper. Hermanson diving to his left-hand side. Colville, edge of the penalty area. And he just turned himself around and then almost instinctively struck it goalwards. And that was yeah. creeping inside the post. Yeah, that's the most that Hermanson's been tested tonight, for sure. 
Hermanson, who's had the uh, most saves this season, the highest save ratio anyway in the championship. Leicester coming forward again with Mavadidi. Oh! And the post is kissed again. Mavadidi, very similar to Fatou on this side, just coming on to his favoured foot, curling it around the goalkeeper. And while Fatou's shot hit the post flush, this one was tickled behind for the uh, corner. Slight deflection, wasn't it? Yeah, otherwise that's nestling in that bottom right-hand corner. The ease with which Leicester sliced Cardiff open there from back to front. Hermanson with the ball, Chowdhury back to his goalkeeper again. He's getting plenty of touches now. Mads Hermanson edging towards that clean sheet. Cannon gets a touch, but Cardiff pick it up again over on the far side. Chasing into the penalty area, Mate with the shot. And that's gone behind for a corner, it was strong defending, it had to be. That was a half opening for Mate, the substitute. Yeah, it's so important that centre forward to keep in the possession. If you're not sure, try and have a... Yeah, I had the odd dalliance myself and I learnt the error of my ways. I tried to lay it off first time all the time. And uh, Corner's taken short and the header eventually comes in and is over the crossbar. No real danger there from a point of view, from a Leicester point of view. Anyways, Mark McGuinness was closing in the six-yard box, but uh, they've been off target too often tonight. And the away form has been staggering. Well, so much of the form this season the results the stats has been staggering here they come again looking for a 51st goal of the season Mavadidi onto the right foot Mavadidi oh just wide and he's so frustrated he wants a goal tonight all the forwards do well, <laughs> you can see the situation opening up and to see a year a calendar year that saw them nearly relegated but to be fair, they've ended this year in a better position. We're just two points off the playoff places at the start of play. Kind of expected too much out of this game. It was a, a bit of a free hit for them. And the full-time whistle blows. And Leicester City have won again. 50 goals for the season. 20 wins for the season. And the year of 2023, well, it's just got better and better and better and they will go into the new year as the team to catch and with it all in their hands to return to the Premier League a goal in each half today has been enough to see off Cardiff City Keenan and Dewsbury Hall showing lovely skill inside the penalty area to give them a 1-0 lead but that was surpassed by James Justin with a, a fabulous effort from the edge of the penalty area and the thousands that have made the trip the long tortuous trip over the festive week have another memorable moment to take with them as we end the year James Justin's goal three more points and plenty of joy from the visiting players and supporters and Matt Elliott your, your final thoughts on the final game of this year yeah well, I'm going to use a word that I've used quite regularly Leicester City performances it was comprehensive wasn't it you said routine both are very apt very thorough Leicester in, in their work tonight and you know a team well prepared by an excellent manager who's got players under him that are Desperate to dance to his tune, basically, and uh, seems to be enjoying every minute of their football. Why not? Why not? And uh, that, that, that was a all things considered, you know, the amount of fixtures, etc., the challenges that Leicester have faced. That was pretty impressive work again, and it, it was collectively resounding as well. And they're celebrating as a group now in front of the away supporters, relishing the moment, and rightly so. Yeah, tremendous scenes, we shall not be moved. That, a team that hope they are going to win the title, a team that are the club to beat, there's no doubt about that. They've been terrific again tonight, full-time score here in the Welsh capital. Cardiff nil, Leicester City 2.